The PS5 Pro release is on the horizon, and it's shaping up to be more than just a minor refresh. It promises a substantial upgrade to the beloved console. As the gaming community eagerly awaits this next iteration, we'll delve into the PS5 Pro rumors and confirmed specs. We'll compare the latest model to its predecessors, the PS5 and PS4 Pro, as well as the Xbox Series X, to provide you with a comprehensive overview of what's in store. Our loyal subscribers will remember that last year, we announced on our channel that the production of the PlayStation 5 Pro was certain and revealed some of its hardware specifications. In this video, we'll take a deeper look at the features of the PlayStation 5 Pro. Before we continue, please subscribe Digitech Magazine to get the latest videos. The PS5 Pro's CPU is identical to the standard PlayStation 5, but it features a high CPU frequency mode that boosts the CPU to 3.85 GHz, a 10% increase over the standard console's 3.5 GHz. This enhancement brings the PS5 Pro's CPU performance in line with, or slightly above, that of the Xbox Series X. Although, in high CPU frequency mode, more power is allocated to the CPU, resulting in a slight downclock of the GPU by around 1.5%, leading to roughly 1% lower GPU performance. It's worth noting that the PlayStation 4 Pro had about 30% more power than the regular PlayStation 4 without negatively affecting the GPU frequency. This indicates that we shouldn't expect a significant change in CPU power with the PlayStation 5 Pro. While the CPU doesn't change much, there's significant interest in the PS5 Pro's graphics core. The PlayStation 5's 36 RDNA 2 compute units receive a substantial boost, increasing to 60 in the Pro. Additionally, the GPU frequency will rise from 2.23 GHz in the PlayStation 5 to 2.7 GHz in the Pro model, marking a 21% improvement. The L0 and L1 caches, crucial for GPU performance, will also double from 16 kilobytes to 32 kilobytes and 128 kilobytes to 256 kilobytes, respectively. This enhancement will provide a noticeable boost in ray tracing performance. With 33.5 teraflops of compute performance compared to the standard PS5's 10.23 teraflops and the Xbox Series 10's 12 teraflops, the improvement here is remarkable. To better understand this progress, let's compare it to the past. The PlayStation 4 Pro had a processing power of 4.19 teraflops, which was a 2.3 times improvement over the regular PlayStation 4. With 3.3 times increase in graphical power from the PlayStation 5 to the PlayStation 5 Pro, the upgrade is indeed significant. However, this doesn't mean we will see double or triple the gaming performance. Despite the 67% increase in compute units, Sony notes in its developer disclosures that the actual throughput boost in gaming applications is around 45%. Moreover, Sony and AMD are collaborating to create a version of NVIDIA's DLSS for the PS5 Pro. This technology has been utilized in the PC gaming space for years, enhancing frame rates by rendering games at a lower resolution and then upsampling them to near-native resolution quality. Consequently, we can expect improved ray tracing that is two to three times, and in some cases, four times faster than on the PlayStation 5. The PlayStation 5 Pro will continue to use 16 gigabytes of GDDR6, the same as the regular PlayStation 5. However, there are two notable upgrades in this section. The current PS5 has a memory bandwidth of 448 gigabytes per second, whereas the Pro could feature up to 576 gigabytes per second of system memory. This represents a substantial 28% boost in performance. Additionally, developers will have access to more system memory overall. Games on the PS5 Pro can use an extra 1.2 gigabytes of system memory, bringing the total available to 13.7 gigabytes, compared to the 12.5 gigabytes allocated to games on the base PS5. The simultaneous release of GTA 6 and the PlayStation 5 Pro presents both an opportunity and a challenge for this new console. If the PS5 Pro can run GTA 6 at 4K resolution and 60 frames per second, it would be a significant success for Sony. 
However, if it falls short, many users might not find it worthwhile to upgrade from the standard PlayStation 5 to the Pro version. Currently, the standard PS5 struggles to run some of Sony's own AAA games at the highest graphics settings. For instance, in The Last of Us 2, gamers must choose between higher resolution or higher frame rates, which can diminish the overall gaming experience. Several upcoming games are poised to benefit significantly from the enhanced hardware of the PS5 Pro. Gran Turismo 7, already a graphical showcase for Sony's consoles, stands to gain even higher visual fidelity and smoother gameplay with the additional power of the PS5 Pro. Dragon's Dogma 2, known for its inability to consistently hit 60 FPS on the standard PS5, could leverage the PS5 Pro's increased graphical capabilities to achieve higher frame rates, provided Capcom optimizes the game for the new hardware. Alan Wake 2, a visually impressive game on PS5 but lacking ray tracing due to hardware constraints, should benefit from the PS5 Pro. While adding ray tracing might be challenging, the enhanced hardware should enable Alan Wake 2 to achieve higher resolutions and more stable frame rates across its gameplay modes. Sony has also upgraded the PS5 Pro's audio engine, claiming it is 35% faster than that of the standard PlayStation 5. This improvement allows for quicker processing of compute-heavy tasks such as convolution reverb and fast Fourier transformations and inverse fast Fourier transformations. As a result, gamers can expect enhanced soundscapes and more immersive audio experiences. Sony's removal of 8K marketing from PS5 Slim boxes in June suggests a shift in focus towards this feature in the PS5 Pro. The standard PS5 was never truly capable of 8K output, and given the hardware specifications of the PS5 Pro, it is unlikely this console will be able to run games at 8K resolution effectively. Even the best gaming PCs, equipped with NVIDIA 4090, struggle to maintain high frame rates at 8K on many modern titles. Therefore, expecting the PS5 Pro to handle 8K gaming is unrealistic. Instead, the PS5 Pro is designed to run AAA games with high detail at 4K resolution and a minimum frame rate of 60. This seems to be Sony's primary objective for their new mid-generation console. The price of the rumored PS5 Pro remains unknown but experts speculate it will be slightly higher than the standard PS5, potentially around $600. The inclusion of a removable disk drive might help offset costs, as Sony could offer the drive separately as a third-party accessory. Sony's new console is anticipated to launch in late 2024 or early 2025. Sony's strategy for the release seems to focus on launching one or two exclusive games simultaneously to showcase the capabilities of the PS5 Pro effectively. This approach aims to highlight the console's enhanced features and attract early adopters. Sony has historically provided quality gaming experiences at prices below $500 with its PlayStation consoles. Therefore, expectations for Sony's new PS5 Pro should be tempered with the possibility of a price increase up to $100. Comparing this to Sony's successful release of the PlayStation 4 Pro, which significantly enhanced gaming performance over the PlayStation 4, similar expectations surround the new PS5 Pro. However, the PS4 Pro leveraged advancements like a new 16 nanometer process technology, replacing the 28 nanometer silicon of the standard PS4, enabling double the GPU power and faster clock speeds. In contrast, the PS5 Pro utilizes the same 6 nanometer process as the slim model. It offers limited clock speed increases, and the GPU size has not doubled architecturally as it did with the PS4 Pro. Instead, Sony relies on machine learning upscaling to compensate for these differences. Given this information, current PlayStation 5 owners may find it prudent to wait until the console's performance in games like GTA 6 is fully assessed before considering an upgrade. For those who do not yet own a console, especially considering the possible price difference, purchasing the PS5 Pro over the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X in the coming months is a good option. This choice ensures access to enhanced gaming capabilities and potentially better value for the investment.